Hello, this is my first video for my YouTube channel. And um, I wanna talk about my healing journey and everything that I've experienced these past few months since my cancer diagnosis last year in March 2018. I'm definitely on an ascension spiral. Every day is a new adventure, a heart opening, an expansion of consciousness that leads me into a new state of being where I am more in tune with my inner self, this divine being that I am, um, and integrating the wisdom and the love and the energy flowing through me into my body and permeating my daily life. Um, it's just a really cool experience. So I hope this channel helps other people who are going through um, illness, cancer, chronic illness, um, anxiety, or just um, soul searching, looking for that higher way of being, that real peace, that um, joy, that bliss, that doesn't depend on any external circumstances. So even though I am 50 years old and I have cancer and, lymph and lymph edema in my arm, I just feel really peaceful and complete and happy. And I just want to share that. And it, it was a lot of inner work that got me to this point where I can release the fear, the self-doubt, um, the fear of death, the fear of pain and suffering, and just embrace myself as me so that I can be who I came here to be uh, in my body. So I want to thank um, my new mentor, Matthew John, for encouraging me to um, start this YouTube channel. It's not easy putting yourself out there uh, and um, being vulnerable to um, judgments of others. Um, but because of my spiritual awakening uh, that started in 2012, I know that we are really all one. and. It's not easy being a human. Um, you know, we forget, you know, that we are powerful spiritual beings that we can create and manifest and direct energy. Um, we forget that everything in our physical reality is just energy. It appears solid and, you know, it hurts when I, you know, fall or it hurts when I, you know, um, hurt myself or get cancer, you know, um, it, but these feelings, you know, of physical pain and emotional pain, these feelings are unique to being human. And, you know, if we can just be still within our own beingness, when we have a difficult situation, you know, we can love ourselves and acknowledge, you know, that you know, we are vulnerable and things aren't always perfect, you know, but when we embrace the present moment and breathe deeply, we can connect to that inner wisdom, that part of us that is divine that is in all things. And we can start tuning in and receiving guidance and wisdom and energy that will shift our vibration so we can accept and learn to love ourselves just as we are in the present moment, even if we're facing difficult challenges. That's my message for now, that's my message for today. But I just wanna share that with everyone who's going through a difficult illness, that you're not alone and 
we are all in it together. We're all connected. And if I can be in my calm center and love myself through my healing process, and share this peace with you, no matter where you are or what you're feeling right now, I just wanna share this peace with you and let you know that any difficulty that you're experiencing now will pass. And just to be present with yourself. Love yourself through this. Your higher self will step in and inspire you to take the next action for your highest good. But first, tune in and be present with yourself. This is how I heal myself, by tuning in. I'm bringing forth this energy of peace and bliss and well-being. So fear not. Yes, you are human. Yes, things do not appear perfect. But know that this is a temporary experience within your own consciousness, within your own beingness, and all is well. Thank you for sharing this moment with me, and I look forward to more insights and sharing more of my energy with you as we are all one. Much love, light, and blessings. Namaste.